Hey guys, what is up? It's Andy here and today I'm going to be giving you a little bit of info on a must-have take a lot piece of software. Um, it's called Shop Deploy and it's basically a third-party developed um, web app that you can use to help manage some of your take a lot stats. Uh, I know a lot of you probably have heard about it but maybe have not had a chance to actually see the back end and see what it looks like. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go through a couple of the features. It's something I use uh, if you don't want to go for a software version, I also do some other videos where I can where I show you how to use your APIs in Google Sheets and you can make a lot of the reports that are seen in Shop Deploy. But Shop Deploy, if you go with a provider, obviously they keep it up to date. They make sure any versioning, version changes of the API are done. So there is benefits and way offs. You need to just make that uh, up for yourself. But yeah, let's get into it. So start straight away, we just are obviously on the, the site. Uh, not too much here, you do get a free trial if you want to sign up, so you can come over, uh, the, the link will be below. And then if we go to the next thing, it starts off with the dashboard. Uh, it's quite a nice sort of dashboard for those that like pawning over your, your stats daily. Uh, I kind of do, so uh, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys there. You can change it between 30 days, uh, change it between your day view, week view, month view. And yeah, it gives you revenue, units sold, average order value, units returned, lead time sales, promotions, and quantities and products and revenues that you've sold down here. It's quite nice, very straightforward. It's not something that's impossible to just pull from sheets, but it does, this updates sort of, it seems about every like 30 minutes or so it, it updates. Um, but yeah, it, it's pretty prompt. So any new sales, you'll see them come in here and any new orders, it'll all add up here and make sure you have up-to-date information. So next, you have a little tab called Orders. And over here, uh, you can see all of your orders as they come in. Uh, you can see the SKU, the TSIN number, uh, whether it's lead time, whether it was shipped to customer, uh, sort of like the status, uh, the date that it was sent, um, or the date the order came through, the name, quantity, and obviously the price. So what's really nice about this page is also this stuff is not something you can't just get off offline, but this, uh, for instance, over here, you can see the customer order and you can see over here the success fee, fulfillment fee, and basically all of the costs that you've spent to sell that order. So it's your cost, which is a really nice trade. And I think it's linking it by that unique number i think that's nine three like the order number and it's finding it in the transactions i've got a feeling that's something that's not as easy to pull from the normal api i think there is some sort of specific api access that shop deploy has that we don't have as public that's able that allows them to do this but correct me if i'm wrong anyway so this is really nice you can see all of your orders you can see the success fees performance fees and if we go over to the next screen, inventory, you can see quantity, Cape Town, Joburg, sold, and your cover days. So that's also really, really nice. Uh, I wonder if that's using take lots metrics or if it's calculating it, but uh, I assume it's probably using take lots metrics. It tells you whether it's buyable, sellable, you can scroll through, you can search your SKUs, does everything you really need it to do. Uh, I'm not scrolling on any of these pages, by the way, just because I would have to then move the blur around and it takes a bit of time to do that. But there's like a page thing at the bottom where you can go page one, two, three, and so on. Now the next screen, repricing, this is a brand new feature. It only just came out a week ago. It's gonna be an, uh, an add-on. I don't think it's even on the website yet, but it's essentially as it is. It's uh, repricing your items. So on Take A Lot, you have to compete for buy boxes. So take a lot will only show your listing if you're the cheapest seller so what some people do well what the market and economically you would do is if your price is higher you make your price lower you win the box and with this you can basically check this you can enter in your minimum price maximum price and you can enable repricing and i think it moves it in like increments of five rand or so so that's quite a nice feature. I know there are dedicated platforms that just do that for about the same price as Shop Deploy charges. I don't know if Shop Deploy is going to change their pricing to have this as an extra, but for the moment, it's going to be, I think, included on most of the packages 
So yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about that. But having it all in one place that does the dashboards reporting, all of that, and the repricing is going to be a good feature, a value add. So now to the last screen is your offers. This is also really nice. You can basically see who's winning the buy box, whether it's you, whether it's your competitor. You can see your product reviews, which is also a very nice thing to be able to check. Maybe you can see like, okay, something not selling. You can come here and just see, oh, oh, this has got a one star, or this is not doing so well, this is doing better. And you can come and see that. You can see the status, the pricing, the pricing of the winner and your price. Uh, so if they are 20 Rand less than you, you can see that straight away. Maybe you can make the adjustment live. Maybe not, it, it depends. Um, but this is a nice thing. And it's also something that you can give access to uh, staff um, because it's not necessarily like the main backend for like Takealot doesn't have uh, controls on who can do what on the backend. So basically everyone's an admin um, or like a sub of the admin and they can do anything. They can pretty much delete offers, disable offers. They just can't disable. They just can't put the like turn off lead time and set away days or something like that. So this is a nice thing they can get all the stats they can get all the details they can get all the pricing all the reviews but not have um, maybe it's like a third party that gets access to this so that's also a really nice feature um, now going to the last screen pricing i'm sure you guys are interested on that i maybe should have started with it but it's not bad uh 4.99 for 250 orders or 100 skus uh, 251 to 500 orders and 300 um, products or up to a thousand products and 500 to 2000 orders so if you've got like lots of cheap items maybe you've got a lot of products and not enough uh, monthly orders but yeah roughly I think the pricing's fair look Running the API calls is quite intensive, especially on like a buy box tracker that's constantly checking hundreds and hundreds of SKUs. It's running that API call back and back and back and back and on and on and on. Um, it's fetching your sales every 15 minutes. That means it's fetching all of the sales. It's running a query on all of those to get the unique ones. So it's not just like a plug and play. There's a whole big database behind it, constantly crunching numbers to get those that information out. and those things aren't free uh, to manage and they aren't free to host and you've got to have authentication and developing and this and that so i think it's fair it's not something you can't do yourself but at what price the only reason i think i really do it myself is because my inventory systems needed me to be able to fully understand the api so uh, it made sense for me to do it. And, and I was doing it for more of a stock purpose than a reporting purpose. But I had all of the stock information there so I could just generate the reports. But I must say, so far using Shop Deploy, I do have it on the side. It's it's a nice feature. It's nice to be able to go and check those buy boxes. Mine's still not, my buy box track is not that great. Uh, this, there's much better. It also emails you as soon as you lose the box, which is very... Uh, rough sometimes getting those emails but um, it does let you act straight away uh, when you get it and I also think when you win it again it sends you an email um, which of course you could disable if you wanted to so pretty much um, and the guy that, that's doing it uh, is really nice really friendly uh, he's available if you need to get in contact or any support like that so guys I would probably recommend trying the free trial uh, you do have to pass over your API key uh, but from, uh, yeah, I know the guy, uh, I've had a conversation and it seems very genuine. And it's also, Take A Lot has referred to Shop Deploy in a numerous amounts of emails. So it is sort of, it's not backed or endorsed by Take A Lot, but they have gone and said, okay, this is a good piece of software to use and check it out. So you let that, you know, you can mull over that in, in your own way, but I think that's a very good sign. So guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you use Shop Deploy, if you use something similar or different um, software. I'm going to do some more of these on other softwares and things that you can use to help you grow your business. And if you like the video, like and subscribe and check you guys next week.